seeing this and seeing this is such an awesome feeling good morning guys I'm in the tent and today I'm gonna put the stove in it's pretty windy outside crazy enough that uh, you can't really hear it too much in here but it is pretty freaking windy that storms rolling through it should be raining tonight so I'm trying to get this stove in so I need to uh, move this just over a little bit and then I'll add some more or I might just move it over uh, this way for now I don't know what I'll do but I'm trying to get the stove in before it rains so that's my big thing here and as you can see the box isn't very big so it's not a huge stove but it'll be perfect to uh, heat this little uh, place up but I did get plywood all on the floor which is a huge game changer for me that way no snakes or anything will crawl up spiders and stuff in probably I'm not worried about that but it'll keep snakes out and then I bought wood to trim the outside of the uh, tent that way it holds all the canvas and stuff there's like a little lip and I'm gonna hold all that to the uh, bottom of the frame as well to keep stuff out from underneath but right now I'm gonna move this and then uh, we'll get right into the stove because I know that's what everyone's wanting to see is the unboxing of the stove and setting it up all right so what I did is I built this box that goes kind of around this part I didn't have enough wood to come in and do some other stuff I got plywood and all that to do the floor didn't get enough uh, two by fours to do this so I'm gonna go ahead and just get to it put the stove in and I'll fix all this later it's not a big deal it's just rain and snow is coming I that's what the weather says so I just got to get the stove in to keep warm all right so I haven't opened this yet like I said uh, my buddy Kevin from Hidden Heights Farm helped me get this and he kind of opened it but he didn't look in there but we think it's all together so it should be easy to put together but uh let's see what this thing is called i'm not even sure it's called the uh guide gear and uh it's a wood stove item whatever number i'll show that in a minute so if you want to check it out you can but let's get to unboxing and putting this thing together it's heavy but not too heavy so we're gonna try to dump it out Pretty sure all the parts on the inside. All right, I think it goes uh, this way, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Let's open this thing up. Tons of stuff in here. Got a pipe. It's pretty heavy duty. It's got a lot of weight to it, so that's good. Pretty sure these are legs. So I don't think it's gonna be very high off the uh, floor. Some uh, screws. I think this is the handle. It's like the ring that probably goes on top. Some more piping. This looks like it might be towards the middle of the where you can uh, open and close the thing in there. More piping this is probably the very top uh, at the moment not sure what that is and then uh, more piping and I believe that's everything all right so this is pretty heavy duty it's a lot uh, thicker and heavier than I thought it would be so that's pretty cool so let's get to putting this thing together all right so I flipped it upside down it's got these legs as you can see there's two holes there's two holes in this line them up and then uh put these screws in it and that's pretty much it so i'll do that real quick all right so that was extremely easy and as you can tell i'm still kind of in my pajamas i'm doing this half asleep that's how easy it is but the legs are on there now the next step is to attach a little flue underneath so i'm going to go in it and then through and then you line up those holes and screw that on all right now we're gonna put the handle on it's just gonna go right here take everything off we're gonna stick it all the way through put the big washer on then we're gonna stick the handle on should only go in there one way and lock 
And then I will put the big washer on, small locking one on, and then the bolt or the nut. And now that you got it on there, just uh, close your door, lock it up, good to go. And unlock it, there you go. All right, now it's time to start putting the pipe on. So we're gonna go ahead, I believe uh, K is first, and you're gonna stick it on there. Just slide it right over. And it fits pretty snug. And you got your little uh, flap right here. So you let air in and out as much as you want. Then now you're going to start adding these uh, other pipes on. It should all just kind of go in together like that. Pretty simple. And then you got to start lining up your uh, hole here. So we're going to take that off. And then you want to get the one with all the holes in it and then go ahead and hook it on. And then we're going to slide it through and then hook it on. That way it's easy. There you go, it's pretty easy. Now you got a wood burning stove in your tent. So I think what I'm going to do is get some cement pads and I'm going to stick it under so the heat doesn't burn the floor. Kind of brings it up a little bit more. And then uh, that's pretty much it. And it also came with a fire poker and a scraper to get all the ash out, but it's pretty cool. So as you could tell, got these pavers up. I will, I'm gonna end up putting some flooring in here and then I'll uh, kind of frame that out so it won't move and it'll look a little better. But I also wired it up up here. That way it kind of keeps it from moving too much if the wind gets real bad. That's just a temporary fix for now. And then uh, I still need to uh, seal up this hole up here. And I know that they sell stove jack or something. I forgot what you call them. I'm not really good with uh, wood burning stoves. It's my first one. And so uh, I'm going to look into that. If not, I'll figure out a way to uh, block the uh, rain from coming in stuff. But the stove is installed. I got the uh, cement underneath. So the only thing left to do is just start a fire in it. So let's go ahead and start a little fire and let's test the thing out. I'm going to do a real small one. I can do anything big. Just real small at first. Kind of let it burn out if there's some, uh, you know, paint or something in there, fumes and stuff. So. Let's give this thing a shot. So I got a little bit of this fire starter I'm gonna put in here. And then uh, I got some smaller uh, sticks and stuff, nothing big. I mean, it, this is probably a little too big to get this started, but I'm gonna try and uh, just get this burning for a little bit just to uh, kind of break it in. All right, so it's catching it in there. I don't know probably need to leave the door open for a little bit but as you could tell it does have spots where you could open it for uh, venting so that's really cool and of course you can lock it down it won't open but we need as much uh, oxygen right now in there to get this fire going and then see uh, if it pours out smoke or what happens so I'm excited this is the first real test with this thing and hopefully having a little fire in here keep it pretty pretty warm in here because it's about to get cold. Look at that. Some smoke coming out. That's a good, good scene to see. Not a whole lot, but it is coming out. But this is what I'm talking about. I gotta seal that up. But at least if it rains, it'll hit up there, hit here, then hopefully roll down and roll down the edges on the outside and uh, not get too much rain in there for now. But. Super cool seeing smoke come out. I just got it started. As you saw, the smoke coming out the top and everything. And uh, you can see the fire inside. But I can feel the heat already. Ooh, especially on top. I could probably realistically put a paint on there already and uh, heat up some food, maybe make some uh, coffee real slow. But. There's not a big fire in there. It hasn't been going that long, but I can feel the heat off of it a little bit. So 
tonight will be the test. I'll be sleeping right here on my cot, and then I'll have some extra wood. I'll keep it going. I'll kind of see how long it lasts without having to put more wood. If it stays warm, all that good stuff. But I had to uh, call it a short day. The rain and stuff is coming. And I am going to go live on Bo's channel, which is the guy that helped me get this land. It's Moorhead Homestead, if you want to check that out. I think we're going live at 6.30, so I don't have a whole lot of time to uh, drive out there and stuff. So I'm going to upload this video. Hopefully, you'll see it before then, and you can go check out the uh, live chat. It's Moorhead Homestead, and uh, we'll be on there at 6.30. We're going to eat some dinner, and then he offered me a uh, shower, which is awesome. I'll take a hot shower. So, guys... If you liked the video and you're interested in one of these, so far I like it. It was extremely easy to uh, set up, but the big test will be how long it uh, holds the heat, if it stays good. So far it's not all smoking here, which is amazing. So I'll keep y'all updated. But guys, we'll see you on the next one. This is probably a shorter video, but tomorrow should be crazy because the storms are coming and I'm terrified. Hopefully it'll miss, but I think it's going to hit. So we'll see how good this uh, tent is is uh, water resistant and how it holds up in the rain and the uh, heavy winds. We'll see how good this heats up. I'll keep you all updated tomorrow. So we'll see y'all then. See you later. Hopefully you'll check us out on the live chat tonight on Moorhead Homestead.